Learn how to utilize music haptics on the latest iPhone model running on iOS 18. Exciting accessibility features have been added for Apple Music lovers. Today, I discussed the new haptic feature of Apple Music. After installing iOS 18, it is initially disabled by default. So let's talk, what is Apple Music haptics? Enhance your listening experience with haptic feedback while listening to music. Music Haptics offers a new way for individuals who are deaf and hard of hearing to experience music on an iPhone. How does Apple Music Haptics work? Music Haptics uses the haptic engine integrated into modern iPhone to deliver taps and vibrations that syncs with the music being played. Experience music like never before with taps, textures and refined vibrations synchronized to the audio of millions of songs. Music Haptics play along with Apple Music, Music Classical, Sazam, and supported third-party apps when your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi or mobile data. Play Music Haptics on wired headphones and supported Apple and Beats wireless headphones like AirPods, AirPods Pro. Music Haptics will automatically sync with music as soon as it starts playing. Once enabled, you can quickly start or stop Music Haptics in Control Panel. While a song is playing, you can also temporarily mute and unmute music haptics in playback controls across iOS. Let me show you how to turn on Apple Music haptics. First, unlock your iPhone and open the settings app. Now navigate to accessibility setting. The settings help personalize your iPhone to get the most out of it. So scroll to music haptics. If it does not appear on your settings page, Please close the settings and or force restart your iPhone. In my case, I have music haptics so I tapping on it. So this is all new music haptics settings thing. What's written under the tab? When available music haptics provides haptic feedback for supported songs. Apple mentioned specific music supported music haptics but not all musics. When I tap on the learn more link, you can find all the information about it. Now I go back and turn music haptics toggle green. So a sample play tab appears, click on it. Oh, I feel like my phone is having a stroke. It's really strong. It's like the regular vibration haptics but amped up a bit. I thought it would match the bass of the song but it does not at all. Please write down a comment below on how you feel after enabling music haptics on your iPhone. So now navigate your favorite songs on Apple Music app and play it to experience it. According to my experience, it does not disable Dolby Atmos but yes, it has a little bit of battery RAM. Now back to the point, you can see a list of available apps on the same screen, only Apple Music is showing up in the list. It means that in the future, third-party music app developers will also add the haptic feedback feature using API. Right now, music haptic works across millions of songs in the Apple Music catalog and will be available as an API for developers to make music more accessible in their apps. For example, Spotify, Pandora and many more. Now, if Apple Music is not working for you, there are a few steps you can take. First, close the settings app and any background apps running in background, then try turning off and on Apple Music haptic feedback as demonstrated in the video. Ensure that your iPhone is supported for the music haptic feedback feature. The next step is to force restart your iPhone. Another thing is check for new software update. If any update is available, please install it first and try again to use music haptics. So friends, I hope this video found helpful for you. Don't miss to share with your close buddies. Thank you for watching.